That's what we have to do. We have to come down here and get a feel for the water. We want a color that is not primary. That's, that's decent. Put a little bit more um, that in your brush. Mm -hmm. And go straight there. Go straight. Go straight. Ooh. What happened? Just a little spot that's too orange. I didn't like. So this was a one day video I did with Alex, a college professor of uh, philosophy who spent his whole life in words of wisdom while painting to understand some of those words. It was the most enlightening uh, workshop uh, lesson that I can give someone of that caliber. Alex spent one day with me uh, understanding why I make brush strokes the way I do, how I mix my paint, what paints I use on my brushes, and uh, just seeing how the ambiance of my studio gallery affects my work. It was an entire one day of knowledge. Uh, you know, Might have been overloaded. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Game. This is just an idea of what's going on. This mm -hmm. is Sometimes what I do is, uh, if my picture doesn't have too much character, mm -hmm. I, sometimes I will just... Marks. Yeah. Random marks. Yeah, just random marks. Just. <laughs> Yes. I'm very pleased to see you doing this because I do this too. Yes, enjoy that, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, and, and if you look at it, it just has character. That's why we're yeah. going to leave this lesson right now. Okay. If we're not getting it to move, let's help it a little. Because this is a clean line. There's a lot of things that uh, have to come together for a painting to be successful. The ambiance of the space, besides the talent, the skill, and the material. I find, for me, ambiance is about the biggest part, uh, biggest contributor, I should say, of one of my paintings. Um, the space I put my mind and my whole soul in that allows me to express myself in paint. Okay, so now just run that bead as a straight, like, you know, like you've been doing. That's the highest light for that area. Um, it looks good, very good. You really have a handle on this brush stroke. And I'll tell you something about painting too. Anytime you put down a stroke, it's never wrong. No stroke is wrong. It's just, maybe not, uh, maybe, you know, I, I don't know, it's a really, I'm telling you, this is all instinct here. Don't, don't paint posts. <laughs> yeah, don't paint posts. These are shapes, dude. Painting is shapes. It's just which shape needs a touch. Yeah. This is the opportunity to clean the shapes that you don't like. You don't want people to see those shapes. Let me ask you a question about the rocks in the water. Okay. So now they're, they're actually mostly very, very light. They're you know, very white, you very, need a lot of white. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, uh, if you squint your eye, you're going to see the darks. Yeah. So I can put in a few darks, yeah. but is the plan also we're going to paint them mostly in light? Uh, some of them. We're not painting all them rocks. We're just giving the impression of rocks out there. Yeah. All right. So uh, well, then I can extend a few. That's what we have to do. We have to come down here and get a feel for the water. And instead of putting the farmer, better off putting the ducks alone. It's more of a feeling than to put the farmer in the, in the door. Okay. The ducks is more nat nature. We might even leave the trees like that. If you'd like to take one of my uh, one of my uh, lessons, a class of one, uh, contact me in the gallery. I, I'll leave my information down below. And there's a few uh, requirements before I give a class of one. One of the main things is you have to have a fair idea of painting. 
Um, I don't know if I'm the best teacher for an absolute beginner, but somebody who's been dabbling a little bit, at least understand, especially oils, which is what I do. Um, so you have to have a fair idea of what's going on. But if you want to improve that idea and work with me one-on-one -on, -one, on my easel with my paints in my space, so you can get an entire feeling for what it is like for Faria to paint, uh, contact me below. I'd love to help you guys, but I only do uh, the last time I did a class was two years ago. I do very few classes. I've been thinking about it, but I can't do too many. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you subscribe and share. And I guess I'll see you guys in the, in the next one. Take care. I don't mind being observed. You're getting it. You don't make me nervous. You're, okay. a, you're a calming presence. Okay. Now, come back I here. Come back here. Don't touch it too much. Now you see?